All righty, we got two biscuits left. Uh, so here is uh, what are you crying about? We're about to have dessert. So we're gonna we're gonna make a biscuit dessert. You know, utilizing uh, the leftover biscuits, and uh, Camera Girl's gonna make some whipped topping. We're gonna have a whole uh, strawberry extravaganza. So go to work, Camera Girl, because I'm ready for my dessert. Yeah, I'm All right, she's already got uh, her little uh, pan. And her whipping cream, she's had that in the freezer for how long? Maybe about 10 minutes? No, more like 15, 20. Yeah, just to chill it down. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely not freezing her, what do you got here? Boom, her heavy whipping cream. Because we don't use a Cool Whip or anything, why not? This is simple. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can make your own whipped topping, boom, with just um, a heavy whipping cream. And then we're using this little uh, thunder stick or whatever the hell. But you can use uh, like a, what are those things called? Zoom, zoom, zoom. What is that? Mixer. Whoop, whoop. So how much uh, whipping cream did you put in there? Between three quarters and a cup. Three quarters to one cup of whipping cream, depending on how much you want. And uh, what are you going to do? You're just going to throw your thing in there and start blending away, right? Yep. Alrighty. And then if you want to add any flavorings to it, this is when you do it. Yeah, what you going to put in there? We're going to be simple. We're just going to add just a little bit of vanilla. Alrighty. Just a drop, dash, smidgen. More like a teaspoon because we don't have that much. Alrighty. And then some powdered sugar. And powdered I just sugar. like it to be, get some of the kinks out. Alright, so it's a little smoother. Yeah. So you don't have no big mouthful chunks of sugar in there but uh, we don't need it real sweet because we've got some uh sweetened strawberries that yeah. are going to go on it too and then you're back to the stirring and i just sort of wet the dry so it doesn't become dust when you right. start so i'll hold this back in case it explodes yeah all, all right. right you ready yeah you can keep it going but bottom line is once you get it to where it's got a consistency of whipping cream don't yep. keep on going you can you can go so far that it heats up again and it breaks apart all right so you just want to whip it till boom it's a nice uh, creamy substantial consistency this isn't like cool whip we just can't no. do this and throw it back in the freezer because it'll it'll break apart right yeah it will not keep its consistency oh it's so good man it's so mm -hmm. good when you whip it up fresh boom mm. we're gonna toast up our biscuits yep we should already have these biscuits toasted well the oven's hot we're ready oh, okay we'll toast it toast it toast it now these biscuits are like four days old now so they're on their last leg all right so we're gonna toast Toast our biscuits up. Let's see, what kind of topping do we have? Where is it at? There's our strawberry topping that we have uh, in the chilled way. in the fridge. This has been in the fridge now since yesterday. Oh. All right, yesterday, camera girl, she uh, sliced up some fresh strawberries, threw a little bit of sugar on the top, and then uh, stirred it up, wrapped it up, and threw it in the fridge. You know that sugar has a... Uh brought out some of the moisture out of strawberries, turned it into kind of a syrupy, sugary strawberry taste. Boom. Mm -hmm. Sweet enough. Mm -hmm. Man, those biscuits better get ready or we're gonna end up eating all this damn uh, whipped topping mm -hmm. and everything by itself. All right, don't burn my biscuits, ma'am. You ain't burning your biscuits. Toasted biscuits smell so awesome, ma'am. This is kind of like taking your biscuits and making sort of a, a strawberry shortcake knockoff. This is why you need to make biscuits, because you can do all kinds of stuff <laughs> with biscuits. You can just have your normal biscuit breakfast. You can have biscuits and gravy. You can make a great breakfast sandwich, or you can have a dessert, just like this here, if you got some fresh berries. Make it pretty. All right. All right, you're piling it on there. That's good. We got a lot of strawberries. All righty. Boom, that looks perfecto, ma'am. I think you can get a little more whipped topping on there, right? What are you yep. doing? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I promise, it's just taking me a second. Looks kind of semi-decadent. Yeah. Alrighty, so there's our uh, homemade whipped topping. You know, using our uh, 
old biscuits and some strawberries and stuff, okay? That's gonna be our dessert. Now we just have to decide, are we watching Nymphomaniac Part 1? Or are we gonna watch Nymphomaniac Part 2? Right? We should probably start with Part 1 first, right? Yeah, it might take some of the mystery out of it. With our dessert. Man, we've been goofing around. This has been sitting out for probably about 20 minutes. This whip topping, you know. I mean, it's muy fantastico. So you don't have to use Cool Whip, you know, because Cool Whip, they put uh, that industrial grade stuff in there. It's like Home Depot stuff. It's not even real food. But at least this here, I mean, it's not like, uh, I mean, a lot of Olympic athletes don't eat this. But at least it's kind of semi-natural, right? That's a way to describe it. Mm. And I'm telling you, biscuits, you toast up a biscuit and put some damn strawberries and whipped topping on it, it's dessert. It's dessert, dude. <laughs> so good job on whipped topping, CG. And uh, you know, if you if you cook up some of those biscuits and you want to have a dessert, boom. Try this here, you know, give it a go. You know, let me know what you think. Bon appetit. Alrighty, like the video. If you like the video, you know, share it. Spread it around like butter. Make the biscuits if you like biscuits, because you'll be glad that you did. And uh, thanks for watching.